Yes, us learners, how are we all doing on this fine and beautiful day? In today's lesson, we're going to be hearing the myth of Pandora's box. It is a tale of anger, of kindness, of trickery and hope. It's going to be a very thoughtful lesson where we're going to be coming up with some excellent ideas. And even though it's slightly different to normal, we're going to have some wonderful discussions. <laughs> So, let's get started and hear that myth that we can move on to the activity. Long, long ago were two men called Epithemus and Prometheus. They were kind-hearted gods, brothers and best friends. They did not feel complete without the other. One day, Zeus commanded all the fellow gods that they cannot give fire to the humans because he did not think that man deserved flames. Prometheus being the kind God that he was, secretly gave fire to the humans because he knew they needed it to survive. Zeus became enraged and took Prometheus and tied him to a rock to stay for many, many years, all alone. Because Zeus felt so betrayed, he thought that he needed to give more punishment. The next part of Zeus's punishment was sneaky. He got the god's craftsman to make him a beautiful daughter. The craftsman made her out of clay and then brought her to life. She was stunning and Zeus named her Pandora. Zeus went to Epithemus, Prometheus' brother, and told him that he felt bad for him because he was lonely. So Zeus introduced Epithemus to Pandora. Even though Epithemus was kind and caring, he was intelligent. He knew that this must be a trick, but he fell madly in love with Pandora and they married quickly. Zeus gave the newly married couple a present. It was rather curious. It was a box that was locked and it came with a note and a key. The note said, do not open. As you may know the feeling, curiosity overcame Pandora. She had to know what was in the box. She unlocked the lid and slowly opened it. Out of the box came flying all the horrible things that we have in this world today. Disease, hate, anger, and many more. She tried to close the lid, but it was too late. Pandora was a kind person. She did not want this to happen. She wept and wept for what she had done. Epithemus came running at the sound of her tears. She opened the lid to show that the box was empty. Just before she could close it again, a tiny little bug flew out of the box, grinning from ear to ear. He was so grateful to be free from the box. Now, Pandora didn't know this, but that little bug was called hope. And even with all the other horrible things in the world, hope could make the difference. Wow, what an incredible story. But how could Zeus be so cruel and unkind? Do you think that it was right for Prometheus to give the humans fire? Tell the people next to you what you think. Now, this myth is talking all about how the horrible things in this world came to be. But we know that the story isn't true. Pandora didn't really let them out of the box. Many horrible things do happen in this world. Some of them happen in nature, some of them are done by people, and many of them just don't have any explanation at all. Like I said before, this is going to be a very thoughtful lesson, so you are going to have to be very mature and sensible in the way that you are thinking. You are going to be making your own Pandora's box. And for today, we have the power and ability to put any of those bad and horrible things back in the box. You can decide as a group whether you're going to draw, write, or build the bad and horrible thing you want to put back in that box. Now, if you're going to be writing, I want you to explain why you want to put that thing back in the box. And to extend yourself further, I want you to write what you think the world would be like without that horrible thing. Something that has caused much devastation in the world are bushfires or forest fires and they happen in many places. 
They can start so easily, either from a strike of lightning or from a mistake from someone else. They're so hard to contain because even if you use lots and lots of water, they won't be put out. Sometimes a large gust of wind can pick up the flames and move them to another area. It causes so much hurt and pain to lots of people. People's homes get destroyed, forests get destroyed, and that means many animal habitats get destroyed. I would put bushfires back into Pandora's box. And without bushfires in the world, people's homes would be safe, animal habitats would be safe, and many of the world's forests would still be standing. So, it is time to get started on the activity. You can decide whether you're going to draw, write or build the horrible thing you're going to put in the box. You need to explain why you're putting that thing in the box. And you can explain how you think the world would be different without that horrible thing. Now, this lesson is very different and it's a very thoughtful one. But I think it's a very important one to have as well. There are plenty of other Greek mythology lesson videos and mini lessons that you can watch. And if you sign up to the mail list, they can come right to your inbox. Now, good luck with this activity and I'll see you soon. Adieu. Thanks for watching. Why not continue learning by clicking on one of these lesson videos and make sure to click that subscribe button. Happy travels. This myth is talking all about, oh, what was that? <laughs> she had to know what was uh, sorry that was me and you can explain what you think the world would be like without that horrible thing oh my god zen ah just sign up to the mail list and you can get them right into your inbox. Have fun and I'll see you next time. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun.